all of my life I've been drawn to expressing myself either through drawing or making collages or paintings or little clay figurines or making up place or writing or whatever else. And I do see my work nowadays as a continuation of that. And I would say it's always about myself and expressing who I am through the things that I make. In that sense, all of my work is always a self-portrait in one way or another. It's very important for me to show the things that I notice, either things that I saw, things that I heard, things that made me feel. And uh, I'm always making work about uh, um, music that touched me or films that uh, mark the way I think or buildings that uh, made me feel a certain way growing up. And some people might see those themes as irrelevant or, or unworthy of art, but these are the things that make up who I am. These um, impressions and sensations and the only way I've been able to make work is starting from from who I am. So starting from these things. Well, working with working with Owen Dara, the curator, we came up with a selection of works that would reflect uh, not just where I am now as a painter, but uh, an overview of of my work through many years, because my work has changed a lot in over the, over the years and it keeps changing. And uh, I'm um, always trying to experiment new themes, new techniques, new looks. And Owen and I wanted to we wanted to give the audience a chance to sample. Uh, several of the tr different um, currents within my work. So we chose works that were very different from each other. There's some very quick works on paper, very spontaneous and quick paintings that I made right after I became blind in 2014. And there's the opposite. There's some of the most detailed and complex paintings that I've ever painted with techniques that I've, me and my team have developed over the years with, that allow me to really put a lot of detail into the paintings. Um, the series from 2014, Blind Transgender with AIDS, that we have a couple of them here. At first, it was a batch of 12 paintings, I think, over a the course of like four days, five days maybe. And then I started doing it almost every day. Uh, and they were very fast paintings. So in the end, that series ended up being more than a hundred, even though I didn't take them very seriously back then. And I saw them as jokes. I see now that they were very honest in a way because I, I was in a, moment in my life where I didn't care anymore about anything. I, I, I thought, I, fe I felt like I had lost everything. I hadn't, but I felt like I had lost everything and I didn't care anymore what I was going to paint. I was just painting things almost at random, unfiltered. So if that day I woke up with a song stuck in my head or, or I would just paint that song or that album or that movie or whatever like as long as it came in my mind if i like it then it's worth painting and that series is very important 
to me for that lesson. I get a lot of satisfaction and joy, not so much during the process, but for me it's more when the work is finished and when when I hear that people are, uh, when people get excited about the work the same way I was if if somebody if we're painting a scene from a movie and somebody sees it and recognizes this and and they they light up uh, and to me that's wonderful when when people get the reference the title the top of each ripple came through uh, one of my conversations with the curator Owen who uh, I was explaining how difficult it was for me and my team to come up with a technique for me to be able to paint water before I became blind um, I used to pride myself in being able to capture light very well in my paintings. <laughs> and so when painting water, we decided to divide the surface of the water into a kind of a map of ripples and think of each ripple as kind of a mountain. So the surface of the water becomes a series of mountains and valleys. And that way we were able to, well, I was able to know where to place each color and overall create a, uh, an effect of water that's moving and light that is both shining on the surface of water, reflecting on the surface of water and also coming through the water so it looks both sunlit and transparent. Owen had the brilliant uh, initiative to also give the audience some context of the things I like uh, as a person, like the movies that I like, the books that I like, the music that I like. Those things are so crucial to, to what I make because it's so much better for the audience to get a sense of who I am beyond the works. So if, if the audience knows what I like, it just becomes a lot easier for us to relate to each other. When it comes to the three video works that we're showing here, um, I think all three of them show an interest in they show an interest in how I am seen by other people or, or how aware I am that I'm seen by other people, even if I cannot see myself. One of the videos is a very simple portrait of me looking at the camera, and I wanted both to provide the viewer uh, an opportunity to look at me while at the same time pretending to be looking at the camera and I wanted the viewer to come away with a feeling that they were also seen by me through the camera. Another one of the videos is a collection of footage from my childhood where all throughout I am either performing for other people or performing for the camera in one way or another, but it, it's it's about, I, I think it's about being aware that you're being watched and so performing something, performing a, a part of yourself. And the other video is again about image and how we, it's about how I dress and how I like to style myself and um, how I move and how I want to be seen by other people. I think many of us feel like our bodies as they are, are not enough to communicate who we are. And so we use other means to add on to that. For instance, clothes or 
the way we do our hair or accessories we put on ourselves. Uh, and again, we do this because we know other people are looking. And even if I can't see myself, I can never stop knowing that I look a certain way and people are going to look at me. I guess this collection of videos shows that I am very much myself part of the work and not just the person who makes the work. Um, over the years, I've many times I've felt like painting doesn't really allow me to express myself. Maybe because it's not, because it's, it's a slow process making a painting and also because I, I don't know how to paint angry or sad paintings. And I've, over the years, tried to find other ways to express that. I, I've thought about music, for instance. I, I'm trying to learn how to make music and in hopes that maybe one day I can express another range of feelings that way. But looking back at my work as a painter, I see that painting does let me express myself and does let me communicate with other people when, there, when there's these moments of recognition, when people recognize something in my painting and they also understand why it had to be painted.